I'm very emotional today because this is like a dream come true for someone like me that loves the Word of God, that loves Hebrew, um, that loves getting a shovel and digging deep and understanding just the plethora of meanings to what God says to us. It's multi-dimensional, and I get to talk today and introduce you, if you haven't already been introduced, to an incredible man of God, Dr. Brian Simmons. Thank you so Thank you, much Jen. for Honored being to be with here. You. Next time you have to bring your beautiful bride. I sure will. I know that she is receiving all kinds of healing and rest right now. And you've been a good nurse, right? I'm sure trying. Yeah. Well, I think you're doing a great job. Thank so, you. There's so many things we can talk about. God has just taken you on so many journeys from worship leader to missionary to pastoring to writing to authoring wow. to devotionals to itinerant speaking more oh i think i think a, a poet uh, a bible translator a linguist i mean Whoa. wow it makes me tired hearing all of that i've been busy <laughs> you have <laughs> time to rest <laughs> but you know they say you want to die empty and you That's are right. working on that well, we're not going to let you die anytime soon. Not yet. I got to finish the, the Bible. Okay. And, and, and the Passion Translation, how many more years do you think that you have? I'm hoping five years okay. to six, five to six years right. to finish the entire Bible. Oh, wow. How many chapters have you done thus far? Well, I, I've done all the New Testament. Yes. And we've done um, uh, Isaiah, Genesis, Joshua, Judges, Ruth. I've completed all of the prophets. Now I'm looped back down to the Torah, yes. to the Pentateuch, and I'm working on Leviticus today. Okay. I, I heard you say that you are working on Leviticus and you're revising Proverbs. Le Proverbs. Okay. Yeah. So you're jumping in between. I'm doing both. Yeah. Because you're birthing something new and then realizing, oh, I've got fresh revelation. Exactly. And I want it to be, you know, as best as I can. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's pretty special. It, it is really dynamic, and it, I think it has changed the perspective for the remnant and the hungry body, those that are pressing in about the love of the Father. It, it's a love theology. Yeah. You know, the Bible is love theology. If you took love out of the Bible, I wouldn't want to read it. Either would I. You know, God is love. And I found the word blessing 80 times in the book of Genesis. Uh. I mean, God wants to bless you. He, the first book of the Bible has over 80 references to God blessing. Wow. That's amazing. What, where did you get your passion to, and you're calling it the passion translation, but where did that drive come from to want to wanna dig and explore? You know, I, I just always loved the Bible when I was converted radically in 1971 in the Jesus movement. Oof. And I fell in love with the Bible. I was discipled by Bible lovers, by people who had a high view of Scripture like I do. And they encouraged me to really study, to memorize. So I, I memorized about half the New Testament, half Oof. the books of the New Testament. The first four years or so, I was a believer just to get my mind healed from a really a bad upbringing. Yeah. Uh, so the Scriptures have brought me healing, life, power, glory, visitations, <laughs> Uh, the kiss of God. Oh. I just love it. The encounters that you've had. And I, I'm a lover of the word. Uh, my husband was saved in prison. So for 18 months, all he did was read the word. Wow. And like you, God gave him the supernatural recall of much of the yeah. New Testament. I used to call him a, a walking concordance because I would say the scripture and he would give me the address. I yeah. would say the scripture <laughs> and he would give me the address. So, but... How, how, when did you start going, I've got to study the Hebrew. I've got to see what this meant in Greek. I've got to see what Apostle Paul was really saying. Yeah. Nope, I've got to go to the Aramaic. What made you do all that? Because that's, it's brilliant, but it's also exhausting. It's a lot of work. It's a lifetime study, really. Uh, and I don't think anybody masters those languages. They're dead languages. Greek and Hebrew are dead yeah. languages. But the passion to really study, it started in Bible college for me. And uh, I've done word studies and I try to dig deep. And as deeper I go, the more I don't know. So <laughs> yeah. it makes me hungry to go even farther, further right. into the, the text. But Aramaic is the only language 
biblical language that's spoken today. To this very day, there are still Aramaic speakers. But Greek and Hebrew are dead languages. Biblical Hebrew, biblical Greek. Wow. So you really have to study. Yeah. And find resources. That's the key. Mm -hmm. I have a wonderful software package and I can dig deep and uh, more than I really can use. Well, I want us to talk about uh, the Song of Solomon because you, you said that the Song of Solomon and the Book of Revelation are two of your specialties and favorites. Yeah, they are. They're the two books in the Bible that I, I'm convinced there's a demon that tells Christians, <laughs> do not read Song of Songs, You're you'll right. go blind. Do not study the book of Revelation, you'll go crazy. Right. So, but those, for some reason, I'm drawn to those books and I feel like the Lord has given me a key to help unlock those books, yeah. especially the Song of Songs. Okay, so we're gonna go there in just a minute. I do wanna commend you uh, on something publicly and tell you thank you and honor you for your critics, and unfortunately, uh, in the body, we have critics among us, brothers oh, yeah. and sisters, which I pray we, we get healed of that and we do better. But your response to them has so touched me because we just talked about love and you have so lovingly responded to those that have been unkind about your life's work. And I just want Wow. to tell you thank you for being consistent. Oh, well, thank you, Jen. You know, for the most part, our critics have a passion for the Bible and they have a passion for God. I would not express it the way they do, but the heart that they have is for God. Yeah. And as I keep that in mind and I pray over them when I take communion every time, <laughs> I actually know, know some of them by name even. And I'll, I'll mention their name before God and ask the Lord to bless them, their finances, their family, their, their health, their marriage in, in, in every way. And I feel like God's going to give me grace to win some of them as friends. 